Good morning, church. It is good to be with you here today. Uh, a snowy day again, it looks like. and oh, Sometimes it's easy to feel like the weather, isn't it? Just kind of overcast and dreary. Uh, but getting into God's Word, being before Him in prayer and seeking the company and counsel of other believers is a great cure for that kind of uh, overcast feeling. And so I'm happy to be with you here today and talking about scripture and uh, lifting these things up in prayer and our lives before God as a living sacrifice for him. A couple takeaways I want to pull out here today. One out of our reading in Samuel and one out of 2 Corinthians chapter 8. In our reading in Samuel, we see the call of Samuel, and uh, he didn't yet know the Lord's voice, and so Eli has to direct him and teach him how to respond to the Lord, something that we would do well to do. Um, the Blackabees wrote a book called Hearing God's Voice, and in that book they say, you know, we, we should be able to distinguish when God is calling us, when he's talking to us. And if Jesus is the Word, and if the Scripture is the Word of God breathed out, um, the only way we can get more familiar with God's voice is by reading the Word that has been revealed to us, getting to know Jesus, who is the Word, reading His Scripture, going before our God in prayer, spending that time together. And so, church, I just am, am eager for that opportunity and encouraging you in that all the time. The other thing out of our Old Testament reading today is that they treated the ark as if it was some kind of talisman, as if they could um, bring the ark and be guaranteed some kind of victory, and that's just not how that works. And so we're reminded that God's Bible is if you just like put it on your shelf, it doesn't make you holy. If you put some kind of emblem on your car, it doesn't mean you're going to be not not in an accident. It doesn't mean you're going to be safe. You know, God is not a talisman. His things aren't wards. He's not going to be used or abused in that way. So it's very important that we don't trust these these things. This isn't a thing. It's, it's his tool that he has given us. It's his word. And we need to be applying what is in it, not just thinking that this object of the Bible is somehow in itself going to do something for us. And like wearing a cross necklace. It's a great way to show your affiliation. But wearing a cross necklace or things like that, it's not a talisman. It's not going to do anything for you other than to tell somebody else something something about you. So that's important. And then in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, we have this. Um, we want equality. This is almost dicey in our, our reading here today. Um, but Paul is talking about he wants the Corinthians to give because there are churches that have a need. And he reminds them about a poor church that gave to meet a need out of their extreme poverty this church gave. And he says it's a matter of equality. The person that had much did not have too much. And the person who had little did not have too much little he's talking about the manna the manna fell and it was collected and everyone took what they needed and that is a reality that our christian life suffers this today i hear my dog squeak in a toy is that we should not have too much we shouldn't have too little um i want to talk about too little briefly you know if we have too little because we refuse to work we refuse to take care of ourselves and do what's necessary to meet our needs. That's not someone else's problem. You know, if, if you have persons in extreme poverty because they won't 
lift their hands to help themselves. Uh, that's not a kind of obligation that we have to alleviate. Everybody is required, Paul teaches us, to carry their knapsack, carry their load. But if people are in poverty because of affliction, uh, because of things outside of their control, we have, we're there to help them out of what we have. And if people are too rich that they have uh, just a lavish wealth, God is apparently not deeply pleased with that either, other than people are gifted wealth in order to help people that have a need. And this is out of the goodness of their the spirit, the spirit of God that is within them, not out of some government compulsion or other outside agency except God himself who says it's, it's good for us to share and to alleviate the needs of one another, to consider the burdens of one another, and to work and to thrive so that we have things to share. This is all very scriptural. And so church has something for us to consider as we look around at what is happening around us. Let us be salt and light. Let us carry our load and share in carrying the burdens of others. I love you, church. Have a good day, and we'll talk to you soon.